All right, guys, welcome to episode 142 of Dope Talk TV's Yours Truly Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, do just that. Hit the like button, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. Go check out some of my boys' music over here on SoundCloud, Johnny Blaze. You know what we do, man. We do a lot over here. We do a lot, so keep up, yeah, you know what I'm saying, up, and stay up. supporting. If you ain't supporting, get out of here. What are you doing, all right? Get out of here. But we're back with another one. How you feeling, Mav? Beautiful Tuesday. Beautiful. Thanksgiving in a couple days. What we doing? What it's, we doing? It's beautiful, man. It's been a beautiful fucking week. Not really, though, because we had some horrible fucking news. <sighs> bro, man. this shit hit home for us, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. And I'm going to tell you what, bro. There's not even a sound that I could play in this thing, to be honest. But it's a serious note, man. We're starting on a serious note. I got my nice little... You know what I'm saying? I want to be Cardi's on. I got my all black on. I got my nice watch and my ring on from my dog, Dolph. We dressed all you black. You know what I'm saying? Dressed all black for Dolph. Thanks. Um, Fuck, man. Rest in peace to a legend. Not just a Memphis legend. A legend in the rap game, period, man. Uh, He motivated a lot of people. He motivated a lot of us to, to make it from nothing. And he showed us that we can make it from nothing. You know what I'm saying? So... Rest in peace to young Dolph. Our condolences go out to his family, his friends, anybody that knew him, you know, in person. Uh, I'm sure they're affected tenfold. You know what I'm saying? But it still affected us. I literally shed a tear for the man. Bro. Yeah, yeah, facts. Me you know too, I mean? bro. I shed a tear. I didn't even know the man, bro. That's how that's how inspiring his music was yeah, to, to it, all of us, you know, especially the hustlers out here, the go getters. Shout out to all the people that are getting it every fucking day. You know what I mean? Round of applause to everybody that's hustling, that's getting it, that's getting paid. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what hungry. that man promoted, bro. He gave away a $400,000 Lamborghini. And the girl that he gave it away to sold it. And people thought he was going to get mad. And he was like, get paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Dolph, dog, get, get paid. paid, nigga. Get paid, like, what bro. The fuck? Remember with the janitor? He helped yeah, out? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, there was a lot of people that, that got fired. And uh, I guess it was a janitor. We spoke about it on the podcast. Yeah, we spoke about it back in the day. I don't think it was a janitor. I think it was a. Uh, it was two people working at like a, a fast food place somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, it was two people that that got fired for playing his music while on the job. So he took them out to a, a concert, brought them out for free. Yeah, and gave each of them like. I think it was like ten or fifteen thousand, whatever they would have made in the year. Yeah, from working there, he yeah. gave it to him cash, and he was like, "Yo, fuck that, nigga!" Like, yeah. y'all you know say those are my dogs, bro. Like, Thanks. real talk, it's like, bro, like you supporting me, bro. You got fired for supporting me, bro. Yeah, nah, nah, we up, nah, nah we up, we up. Get paid, <laughs> get paid, bitch. Nah, that's crazy, for man. For real, uh, yeah, that shit, that shit was surprising because like came out of nowhere, bro. Yeah, like he's already been shot multiple times. You know what I mean, and. He got hit Like one of them I think it was one time He was nah, going he's, shopping He's been and That's that him. people know But he's been shot Like actually hit Three times before And not Not like he's been shot Three times specifically But it's been three Different occasions Where he's gotten shot Like that Yeah And that's beside The hundred shots That he survived Yeah You know what I'm saying So it's like I don't know what he did to whoever he did it to, bro, but they're not, they weren't fucking around. Yeah. And they not. weren't going to stop coming until you're gone, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, listen, man, it's just, it's, it's a sad situation, bro. Um, the people watching, the kids that are inspired by him, take it, a, take it with a grain of salt and, and understand, man, that there's certain things in the street that you cannot escape, bro. Like, straight up, there's certain things in the street you can't get away from. And it doesn't matter how long it's been, how up you are, it could catch up. You know what I'm saying? It could catch up. So Yeah, that's 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 shitty, bro. All, all he wanted to do was get some cookies, bro. <laughs> it was for his mom. Yeah, it was That was the saddest mom. part. Yeah. Like, he didn't even pull up for him. Like, he was like, oh, I know. Like, mom wants some cookies. She asked for them. I'm passing by here anyway, nigga. Let me just stop real quick. He had a homeboy in the car, too. Apparently. Well, that homeboy ain't shit. Yeah, apparently he shot back, but I don't know. It looked kind of fishy to me. Man, look, bro. They detained him, but let him why go. Why are you sitting in the car, bro? Yeah, it's weird. In a situation like that, why are you sitting in the car, my you nigga? Be Stand at the front door. Yeah. Looking out, seeing what's up. If yeah. you really got the strap on you and yeah. that's what you're there for. Yeah, exactly. Then why are you there? 
Cause that's useless. You fucking you was useless in that situation. Yeah, and whether like you I, shot back or not, nigga, you're too late and you're sitting in the car. You're at a disadvantage. And I'm sorry, bro. If that was like, you know what I mean? Like, if it that happen, yeah, people if, freeze let's just up. Say man. that shit happened to you. You sitting in the cookie store, and my my like one of the homies we hang around with was sitting there. He didn't even look out. I'm gonna look at you weird. I'm gonna look at you weird, like yeah, nah, nah, bro. Like yeah, nah. I'm not, I got I got questions and I need answers. Bro. Yeah, exactly. Because what the fuck were you doing? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially knowing you got, like, you people get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Maybe Dolph wasn't even in that type of energy. He wasn't giving off that type of energy where he was like, yo, be on the lookout. He probably didn't say shit. Yeah, I think he just probably pulled up, yo, hold up. I'm going to go in here and grab three cookies and be out. And that's the last thing that he ever did. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad, man. Once again, our condolences go out to his family. Um, bro, I'm gonna be bumping your shit. I, I, I promise you, bro, I'm gonna be fucking 50, 60 years old, still bumping dog. Yeah, bro. I'm not playing. Yeah, like, me too. Me too. Like, the, that was the inspiring. inspiration, the yeah. motivation that he gave, bro. The interviews. You know what I'm saying? Like, the game that he dropped. He's like, like always stay hungry. Bro, he's the reason why I don't be kissing these hoes, bro. Yeah. Oh, God. He's like, hey, don't be putting your mouth on these <laughs> hoes. He said that. A, yeah, he was telling his boy that. Yeah. Real shit. Nah, don't real be shit. putting your mouth I on these hoes. I need, I need bro. to start doing that. You know what I'm <laughs> You know, you know what I mean, but nah, nah respect, man. man. And he had a lot of haters, man. He you know? did, but that's what happens when you're up. Niggas hate. They don't even know why they fucking hate you, bro. They just do. They hate. Like they, they're they they look at their situation and the shit they haven't done that they could have done, and then they look at your situation and they feel like they deserve your situation for the mediocre shit that they've done. And it's like, nah, bro, that's not how the game goes. And life ain't fair, nigga. You might deserve it more than him, but that's just not how it went. Yeah, it's so just, it wasn't meant for you. Yeah, so it's like, bro, like that's just how that shit go, bro. You could, but you can't go fucking kill somebody over this shit, man. Yeah, like that's crazy. Man, it's always somebody close because it's not the killers that know him. Yeah, you know what man. I mean? It's, it's 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 somebody that fucking put it's a hit haters, on him that's, that's close by, man. And it's always that somebody that's close by, bro. It's never somebody from like you don't know. Facts. There's always somebody. Super close to you, bro, and that that's the shit that fucks you the most. This is the shit that hurts the most. But going on to our next topic, man, that's why you gotta watch out for haters, bro. Yeah, and you gotta pick up on that hater energy, man. There's niggas that are around you that don't want good for you. They don't want to see you win, nigga. They just want to see you. They want you around to see you fall, or to show you that they're doing better than you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's just like that's cool, but just watch out for those people, man, because those people ain't really there for you. Those aren't the people that you could call in a situation where you're really down and they'll help you. Yeah. They'll just listen, be like, oh, man, damn, fuck, bro. That's crazy. Damn, bro. That's crazy. And as soon as they hang up, they're like, ah, I told you this fuck nigga was. You know what I'm saying? Like, just yeah. you got to be careful who you hang around with, man. And, and haters are haters are everywhere. And they come in many different shapes, forms and fashions. Yeah. That fashions. Yeah. <laughs> You could be poorly dressed and be a fucking hater, motherfucker. You could be a fucking broke hater. Yeah. You could be a rich hater. Yeah, there's you could rich be a, haters. Yeah, you could be rich. Money don't make you real either. Bro, yeah, yeah there's you know niggas I mean? that are up, up that are still f- hating ass niggas. Yeah, it's like, like yo, how you gonna hate on a man that has half your bank account? There's some sauce that you can't buy, baby. Bro, it don't matter, bro. Listen, man. <laughs> that us. Look, bro, you could go spend fucking twenty thousand dollars on one outfit and look like a goofy nigga. Look like a goofy. That's most of these people out here. It's like, yo, like, I go to fucking Walmart, bro, and I'll buy these bitches right here for $20, <laughs> and I'll pull you a hoe looking yo, at her through these motherfuckers. It, it, I swear, bro. Oh, God, bro. It's like, nah. I don't need, you know what I'm saying? It's but like. You gotta, you just gotta watch out for that hater vibe, guys. That's facts. just what the fuck it is, bro. And vibes don't lie. That's like, at the end of the day, vibrations don't fucking lie. If you feel a certain type of way, you know what I mean? Address it or just fucking move out, move out the way. Yeah, facts. Facts. And I feel like that's a, yeah. that's a big problem with shit, bro. It's like people don't address it. They let it build up and then they don't, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's like, don't let, don't do that. If something bothers you, just talk. We've said it a hundred times on this podcast. Talk about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it could be something as simple as a text. Simple as a text. Simple as a text. Simple you don't got to be an asshole. You don't got to be a dick. Yeah. But just let it be known. Be like, yo, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't appreciate you. I don't appreciate what you did or I don't appreciate this situation. Whatever the fuck the case may be. You know what I mean? But yeah. I feel like a lot of people are just passive aggressive, man. You know yeah, I mean? that's true. What, like, what? What's the definition of passive aggressive? Passive aggressive is somebody that like they don't like confrontation to the point where they just won't say anything about something. They're passive aggressive, like, like they could get mad at you, bro, and you won't even know it. 
Oh no, no, type I, shit. You I, know I let what people saying? know. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's I'm passive like, aggressive. I don't, I don't it's like, like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like you, you got to talk to people, bro. You gotta, you gotta be like, yo, bro. I, like, just if you could do this, bro, I'd appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, like that it's does. really that simple, man. But hey, bro. Again, going back to haters, watch out for haters, guys. There's a lot of those out there, and sometimes it could cost you your life. I got, right? a, I got a question though. What up, man? What up? Do you, it's about relationships, bro. Right. right. Do most people hold on to a relationship because of the length? Um, I think so. I think a lot of people, uh, they relate time and loyalty. And that's not always the case. Like, There's people that you've known for 10 years, 15 years, that aren't as loyal to you as somebody that you've known for three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Very true. And it differentiates. There's, there's, there's friends that you're going to have for life. Like, there's friends that you'll be 65, nigga, you'll be able to call up and talk shit, and it'll be cool. But there's friends where it's like, yeah, bro, like, they're just around, like, people hold on to relationships, friendships, anything. Not just friendships, but relationships just because they're like, oh, bro, we've been together for this long. Is this much time wasted? Or it would be this much time wasted if I left now. But it's like, well, how much more time would it be wasted if you didn't leave now and you're still not happy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah, people, there's odds you got to fucking balance. Sometimes bro. it's hard to let go of long ass relationships. You know what I mean? Like some people, it just is. Get, they, like even if they get mistreated or, you know what I mean? Or people switch up, they they still want to hold on to that to that little string. You know what I mean? That's like barely fucking hanging there. You know what I mean? Of, mm-hmm. of the relationship. But I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about everything. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. some people are like really unhappy in 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 their marriages, but they just want to hold on because they've been together since high school or. Been together since middle school, like, I, you know that too. But I feel like a lot of the times is the kids, man. Yeah, because as an adult, you might not even like each other anymore, but you still understand that it's unfair to the kids, bro. Your yeah. kids don't know nothing about the world, man. They think y'all are in love. They think everything is love. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's harder when you have kids and shit. Which we neither one of us do, but yeah, it's yeah. just from uh, you know observing my my boys and shit. It's harder when you have kids, bro. Yeah, because you because yeah. it's like fuck, and then like you gonna have to go find somebody else that's like like I have five kids or whatever. It's like, and you're gonna have to be cool with this, and I I have two other baby moms, so you're gonna have to be cool with that. And you see, what I'm saying is like there's a lot of shit where it's like once you get to a certain age and a certain stage, it's harder to start over. It's not impossible, but it's harder, and people fucking they just don't, they just stick around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So some people do it for the kids, some people do it for the bills. Let's be real. Some people there's do some it. of y'all that are married, bro. That y'all, y'all are just fucking roommates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are just y'all, y'all are just, just roommates, yeah, bro, yeah, and yeah. going half on bills. Yeah, that's all you do. Yeah, that ass. I've seen that. And for I've real, seen I'm, I'm not playing with you. I've seen it like a lot, and it's sad, bro. It's sad. You know, you might as well just call it a fucking open relationship. Yeah, you might as well just call yourself roommates. Yeah, like, that's my roommate. You know, <laughs> y'all don't been... even like each other no more. You stop. You done been stopped fucking. Yeah. Y'all literally just share a house, a refrigerator, and a fucking bathroom. That's it. And two dogs. That's it. <laughs> that's it, bro. It's like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, Oh, shit. But that's why I'd rather be patient, man. I'd yeah. rather just be patient. I've been single for so fucking long, bro. And I, I'm not in a rush to yo, get in a me, relationship. Yo, me too. I've been single for such a long time. And it, it, like, I think about how many years I've been single, and it kind of scares me to the point where it's like, man, am I ever going to be in another relationship? I be thinking like that too. I, like, we will, though, nigga. We're young, but it's yeah, like. I know. It's just. I, I date. Think, bro, we don't. I, like, we go out. We go yeah. on dates. Like, we, you know what I mean? I we go out. Yeah, we do shit. But it's like, I don't know, man. I feel like we have something we have to accomplish. We do. And that's the, that's the point. It's like you either gonna come and ride on this ship with us or you're gonna fucking get left at the dock. Yeah. There ain't no in betweens. And a lot like a lot of women say that they want a successful man until they meet a man that's trying to be successful for real. Yeah. And it's like, nah, bro, like I don't have as much time as you would like me to have or that I would like to have. We just, you know, we got other shit going on. We gotta make sure the bills are paid, plus have other shit running. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know, man. Like, you just got to know yourself. If you're not happy in a relationship, bro, leave. Leave. If you think that you could work it out, 
like really believe you could work it out, not on some fairy tale fucking Cinderella story bullshit. Yeah. Work it out. Cause it's possible. But if y'all are to the point where it's like, yo, listen, man, we've tried it two, three, four times, and it's just we can't fucking get it right, and we're both fucking unhappy, and I want to strangle you every fucking night. Yeah. Just leave. If you don't want to, if you don't want to fight and strangle each other and fuck the <laughs> shit out of each other, after, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I don't want. I, you're not meant for me. Yeah, Cause you know facts. what I mean Like I can't sit here And be oh, no, nice I need and that be like, sauce yeah, yeah 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 I need that flare bro I yeah. need to tell you To watch your fucking mouth So that yeah. then I could Go put something in it Yeah I had you a friend Tell me they were like Yo like You're so fucking mean You know what I mean and I'm just like No it's a balance Cause you, yeah. you know what I mean Cause they're like Yeah you know I'm glad that you're Fucking nice to me Because the, the way that You be treating other people I'm like alright Well don't piss me the fuck off Cause yeah, I'll treat bro. you Just like that Facts You know what I mean That's a fucking fact That's just how it people is People take your kindness For weakness man yeah. All the time All the fucking time that's just how that shit goes. But listen, man. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of people want to be given handouts, right? And I feel like what differentiates us, bro, from other people is that we'd rather be put in a situation to work for that shit ourselves than to just be given a fucking handout. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, bro, yeah. that's missing from this generation, nigga. Yeah. we got. I feel like these newer generations, bro, like it's just, you know. Doesn't it feel better when you work for your fucking things? Do you notice that when you have things that are handed to you, you don't really care as much as, you know, when you actually fucking work for it? Yeah. Like, I've had brand new cars. Like, you know, I had a graduation gift, you know, and I had a brand new car. I didn't treat it like how I treat my fucking Honda. Facts. And it was a way nicer car. And it was a way nicer car. You know, it humbled the fuck out of me. Bro, and you that's, see what I'm that's saying? how it goes. It's like when it when you don't work for it, you don't appreciate it. Yep. When you didn't have to grind for it and bust your ass for it, you don't appreciate it. You know, and, and you know, it, all of us learn that lesson in one way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it just it it's happens. It's life, yeah. nigga. It's fucking life. If you're not learning, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's just life. But you, look, man, you, you got to be true to yourself, man. And you got to understand that life goes on, guys. Life fucking goes on. And you got to work for your shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got to work for your shit. You got to take... Advantage of the yeah. opportunities that are in front of you because they're not always gonna be there. Like if my boy needs some type of money or he needs something, like I hope you out first couple of times. You know what I mean? Because I'm that's that's the type of person I am. But like if it starts becoming a problem or it's like in a habit, then nah, I'd rather put you in a better position where you can make some money. Yeah, and if you fuck that up, that's on you. Then now. that's you, and you now fumbled, it's over. And you, now yeah, you fucked up yeah, with me. You, you fumble the bag again, yeah. and it's like, nah, I can't, I can't deal with that. And you know what's crazy, bro? You know, you know, you know, our personal lives. We don't put a lot of it on here, but that's happened to me personally. Where I, you know, I show love and put people in certain positions, bro, and they fumble the fucking bag. Yeah, and then they want to come two, three months later asking for another situation, and it's like, brother. I gave you a situation and you fucked it. Like you, fucking. You fucked it. Like Connor. You fucked it right in the arse. <laughs> right in the arse. Right in the anal. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good bargain. Nah, for real, bro. Like, yeah. nah, bro. You can't. You, like, that's not how opportunities work. That's why when you do get an opportunity, bro, you need to, you need to treat it like it's the only one you're going to get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And really fucking take off with that shit because, like, you you just can't double back once you fucked up an opportunity, bro. That's, that's really much. The main point That's you know? that's pretty much What the fuck it is And you know what You know what's been Going on lately What's that A man? lot of fucking snitching A lot of fucking snitching And Ooh. you know what A lot of shit's Fucking getting unburied You know what I mean I mean let's look at Fucking 6 9 Let's look at Fucking all these Fucking artists bro That are coming out At the end of the day bro Boo for all you Snitch ass bitch ass This is niggas Like it's sad. It's a sad world, bro. Like if you're not if if you're willing to do the crime, you better do the fucking time. If you have to. I believe in that, man. I believe in that. And it's like you know what? You know what the craziest part about that type of shit is, bro? That most of the niggas that snitch didn't have to be in that situation. They chose to be in that situation. Like there's really people out here doing certain things that they don't even want to do for survival. And then there's other people doing the same things for clout. Just to be, oh, I got the bag, I got the smoke, I got this, I got yeah. that, got yeah. flavors, ah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, bro, they can't go and fucking sit down. They can't go and sit down. And I don't respect a nigga that does that. Being that I come from a family where my dad went and sat down for 17 years. And could have been home. He could have been home in one year. I just told you that before the podcast. He yeah. could have been home in like a year with some probation time, some shit like that. 
Nigga went and sat down for 17, bro. And it, it, those are the consequences of being in the streets, quote unquote, being a gangster, quote unquote, being a drug dealer, quote yeah. unquote, whatever it is that whatever. you claim yourself as yeah. in the street it's life. A scammer. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. There's a nigga that just caught 17 years. Talking about 17. 17 years for fucking fraud. For the PPP loans. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Like, it's multiple ways to go in the fucking prison system. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like, it's not, it's not fucking cool, bro. It's just, it's not fucking cool. And there's some people that, bro, random. I know it's kind of random, but it, there's a lot of people that we went to school with that are surfacing that went to, that went to jail for child abuse and all this shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, I feel bad for y'all when y'all go in there because... One of these girls that we went to school with, I'm not going to say her name, but she just got arrested. Someone sent it to me. Uh, what's his name? That that uh, when he wanted to be on the show, I forgot your name, bro. But you sent me you sent me that, and it was crazy. She she got locked up for child abuse, right? And her bond is set at a million. That's bad. That's up what a hundred thousand, right? Yeah, that's bad. That means you did some bad shit. And, and I was like, man, I had class with this girl. Like, you just never know, like who's gonna, you know. Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? Like, man, that's just crazy. Now, the world is crazy. But but going back to that snitch and shit, yeah, guys, if you no. ain't... Bro, look, man. That 6 9 shit is not cool. It's not cool. Snitching, period, is not cool. You know what I mean? And you got to understand, there's no honor amongst thieves. So if you're in a certain lifestyle, like, you can't be mad at niggas for not holding their loyalty to you. Especially if you just dealing with them from the street. Like, if you didn't grow up with them, you know what I'm saying? You didn't... Like, y'all ain't boys, boys, bro. You can't expect this nigga to hold a certain level of loyalty to you. You know? But you need to make that decision before you even do whatever it is you're going to do. Before you pick up a mask and go robbing. Before you fucking pick up a pack and go selling. Before you pick up some coke and go cooking. Like, you need to... Really think about what the fuck it is you're getting into, how much time you're really looking at, and really sit there and think, hey, man, can I go sit down and not see my family for 25 years? Because if you can't, don't fucking do it. Yeah. And that's why it's like I don't feel bad for certain people because it's like, bro, like I don't, I don't want to hear none of that snitching shit. You had the choice. And most of the time you have the choice multiple times. Like You could, you could right your wrongs you, over and over again until you can't no more. And you, you fucked away all those opportunities to... Right your wrongs And now you want to be Sitting here trying to Point fingers and blame Other people All like If I'm going down Everybody going down Like bro you a bitch Nigga bro In my opinion If you a snitch You a bitch Nah you a snitch like You that. a bitch You a snitch You a bitch Yeah like YG Bitch <laughs> Swear <laughs> My dog felt that was Nah for real, for real. That's, I was about to go Crit walking down the street Real quick <laughs> Nah, I was nah, but nah damn, guys bro. But listen guys Go down in the comments man And let us know uh, What we should be thinking about Doing for Patreon Like what you guys Would like to see For those of y'all That are willing to pay Five dollars a month To come over there And support You know We'll, we'll be doing uh, A lot more talking about Some serious topics No holds bar Like we'll be it, It's gonna be a different vibe On Patreon You know what I'm saying So uh, Y'all let us know What it is That you guys would like to see That you guys enjoy seeing On Patreon Or uh, Video like, like just let us know man. Yeah. We're looking for shit to, You know what I'm saying Brainstorm Yeah you know I mean? man This is what we do man And if you wanna see some smoking You wanna see some token You wanna see some poking then go to fucking Patreon. All right? I'll fucking see y'all fucking out there, man. Because uh, we're going to do like what? One video a week now instead of two on YouTube? Or what are we doing? Yeah, man. We're, we're going to brainstorm. We're going to come up with some shit. Uh, we were thinking about doing like one video a week on YouTube. One on Patreon. Seeing how that goes. Fucking Toby, um, you're going to be pissed because your cheap ass going to have to pay $5. Yeah, bro, if you want to see that second episode, we're my gonna nigga, we're going to be smoking, taking dabs, I you know might what I'm saying, ass. all types of shit. Like, we're, we're going to be I'm, fucking I'm cool. Might, I might show my He ass. might show his fucking, you know what I'm saying, welcome rug of an ass. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, bro, like, we, we just want to know what it is that you guys would like to see, man, so uh, we, could get, we could get working on that for sure. You know what I mean? But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, man, Thanksgiving's coming up, so tell somebody you love them. Make sure that you make it to Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, guys, stay safe, stay blessed. Yeah. Peace get, and love. Get, Peace and love. Get, get stuffed, motherfuckers. Get stuffed. <laughs> Peace.